Last time on the Summer Sphere. After a long and hard two and a half years of strict border closures, my dad was finally able to make his way to Australia and see his grandchildren. <laughs> we spent the first week of his stay with us in Perth, trying to make up for all the lost time. It was so good to be able to finally see my dad enjoy some much needed quality time with his grandchildren, doing all the things grandparents are meant to be doing. And the girls enjoyed all the extra adventures as well. <laughs> and in this episode, we're going to go on a holiday. Now we're going on a holiday and Izzy is taking the most important cargo. Show us Izzy, what is it? It's a mango from Grandma's garden. Opie is coming with us. Where are we going, Opie? To Basselton. Yay! We're going to Basselton on a holiday. Let's yeah. go. Oh, is this too rich and out? You've got everything you need. All your little toys. It is also prepared. She insists on holding her owl. We slash I have organized everything, and we are heading off to Basselton now. the crooked carrot and it's sort of halfway um, <laughs> clever just, just almost went to sleep in the car and then we got here hopefully she'll sleep in this anyway it's nice it's a massive play area we're gonna have some lunch we can hang out here they can get all their energy out and then um, we continue I remember myself young and restless a lamp of youth so to really teach you anything do i know what's true true for you all right we have arrived in Basselton, our holiday home this is our house it's so nice little living room Kitchen, bathroom, rooms for the girls. Is it, is it, is I'm going to share with Clara. Is Izzy's got her own room and my dad's got his own room. Look. Here you go. And there's, I'll show you a little bathroom here with a shower. This is going to be Izzy's room. This is my dad's room. And this here is going to be me and Clara. I'm going to have to build her bed. It goes right in there. Oh, yeah? We're starting to... Um, yeah. Make ourselves feel at home. Oh, is he's running around in Opie's bed? I already put um, Shiggy. put him the bed rail on. Yeah, I got a little travel bed rail for Izzy so she can push the bed against the wall so she can sleep there. Now I've got to build Clara's bed, and also like the kitchen is sort of an open kitchen, like this bit here behind me. Down there was full of these glasses and that plates, so to make it Clara proof, we moved it. But other than that, it's pretty good. Do you like it, Clark? Ah. Yeah, you do? <laughs> so Izzy's gone to bed, has a little sleep. I don't think I'll be able to put Clara down again, but we'll see. And when she's up, we're going to go to the beach. Yeah. Now, what happened, Izzy? Um, um, I didn't have a good sleep. You didn't have a sleep at all, did you? No, doesn't matter. It's actually quite all right because we're going to have a little snack now and then we're just going to go down to the beach. Let's leave the past <laughs> behind. Oh, okay. Once you're in, it's not too bad. Walk with me. 
there's something else we need to find say you go don't make me wait there's no need to hesitate sting ride just there but i think it's just drifted off let's make footprints We've made it back home. The poor little bugger, look, she had a fall, fell against the table. And uh, my dad's still on a walk. I left him at the beach. I thought um, he would enjoy that. And I'm making some dinner for the girls because they need to go to bed a bit earlier because both of them didn't sleep. So we will continue tomorrow. First night here. Woke up at 7.30. My dad and Izzy are still sleeping. And um, we're gonna make some breakfast, hey? And then we're gonna head out to the jetty today. Claire's getting herself some rice pudding while I'll make some pancakes. Once everyone was ready, we made our way to the Basildon Jetty. With nearly two kilometres, it is the longest timber pile jetty in the Southern Hemisphere. So we decided to take the train to get us to the end. Wow. That's the train! Uh, um, if you haven't already, please take a moment to check in. Uh, the jetty train does have its own QR code. Alrighty, we are now on the train. Going down the Basildon Jetty. The jetty can also be walked, but with two little kids, that wasn't really an option. Plus, they both really enjoyed the train ride. Welcome to Bustard and Jetty. We are sure you'll enjoy your train trip over the waters of Geograph Bay. got to the end of the jetty we continued on to the underwater observatory. It took us via several levels and viewing platforms all the way down to the ocean floor at 8 meters. Because of the Lewin currents, warm water, there are even tropical and subtropical species like this batfish to be admired. The warm current also results in coral growth which is a very rare occurrence so far south and in fact the Basildon Jetty is Australia's greatest artificial reef. It is pretty impressive to see and I really do recommend a visit if you're there. Walking towards, I think, Geograph Port or something. I don't know, just along the foreshore, away from the jetty. It's beautiful now, weather's nice, the light's good, pretty. As a young girl, it feels worth 
we play some sort of port here. It's not the prettiest place, but it is very nice and wind still. Very nice and calm. And um, the girls can play in the sand a little bit. <laughs> Clara's running around like a loony. It's a nice spot here, really. Basotten is so pretty. Like the, the landscape, the bay, Jeff the bay. Very, very beautiful. Look. Oh, mind you. You can't see it right now. Hey. For lack of a bath, we're, we're using a bike. Hey, Ryan, that's it for today. We had a nice day, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. All right, tomorrow we are going to go, <laughs> going to, go to Margaret River, Hamelin Bay, I think, and maybe Boron up first, just because my dad's never been. So that's what we're doing tomorrow. All right, let's say bye-bye to everyone. Izzy, can you say bye-bye? Bye-bye.